PDP chieftain cries out, says anyone that vote for P2B is only helping to rumble. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we we'll post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. Ahead of a general election, a chieftain of the People Democratic Party, PDP Dachin Musa Bagos, a member representing just northeast federal constituency of Plateau State and also the deputy chairman of the House Committee on Anti Corruption, said a vote for P2B is indirectly a vote for Tudumbu. The politician was speaking during an interview with Daily Trust, stated that P2B, the presidential flag bearer of the Liberal Party, will try to reduce the popularity of Atiku Abubakar, the presidential flag bearer of the People's Democratic Party in the Southeast and South South regions. He therefore stated that when the people of the region voted for Mr. Peter Obi, it reduced the stronghold of the former vice president and strengthened the All Progressives Congress APC and its presidential candidate, Bola Tunumbu. He, however, said that the All Progressive Congress would try everything possible to maintain its stand in some of the strongholds it has across the country, while the People Democratic Party will be affected in the South South and South East. His words, the People Democratic Party is given the electorate the option they're looking for. It should be understood that any vote for P2B of the Labour Party is a vote for the All Progressive Congress. This is because P2B's vote will reduce that of the People Democratic Party in the South South and South East, and it will automatically give the All Progressive Congress an upper hand because it will still want to maintain its sight in some of those strongholds they have. They have come again now. They have come again with the tactics of a vote for the People Democratic Party and is uh, a vote for Toronto. Now, this is why they think so. I hope people understand what they are saying so. Now, if you don't understand, let me let me play it out for you. Let me let me help you understand it. A vote for the people, the more, I mean, a vote for for P two B, for AAC, for African Democratic Congress ADC, for YPP, for um, what's his name, for all the smaller parties, hmm? because they do not form together. It is really, really. If you look at it in reality, is a vote for Tunumbu indirectly. Do you hear what I said? If they do not match together to form a force, hmm? let's say for instance during the election or before the election, they are merging now political parties like YPP, AAC, ADP, SDP, PD, and um, CPDP. How is going to happen? Let's say at the election now. Uh, everybody collapsed, as in all these parties I mentioned before, they collapsed their structure and maybe they merged with Labour Party. Let's say for instance now, they merged with Labour Party. Do you know that somebody from the AAC on election day will come outside and cast his vote and it is going to count as one on the Labour Party? Somebody from YPP will cast their vote, it is going to cast as also another one in Labour Party. Somebody in SDP will cast his vote and it will appear in Labour Party. Meanwhile, if they do not merge before election day, eh, what it means that all those one, 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 you know, it's, 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 it counts like three for Labour Party, but it will count as one, one, one. And you know what that means? <laughs> Adding more to the All Progressive Congress and taking more, taking it away from the PDP. This is because PDP was formerly the party in power now. PDP is formerly the party in power. All right. Your political calculator is old and outdated. You can get a new and updated one from currently unfolding reality. <laughs> All right. The idea you said it a low, said it a long time ago, and this is fact, and I love it. The thing is, yes, this is exactly what the Jadia Joe has been saying. For those who think the Jadia Joe is actually one of a bad belly, no. The Jadia Joe was a supporter of P2B. You know, he supported and he was so. So, do you not understand it? All those parties, had it been the mesh together into Labour Party and they're not voting. Let's say like 10 people come out, they vote for APC, SDP, Accord, APGA, Labour Party, YPP, all those parties. But if they, all the 10 people voted, if it was merged, everything would appear as 10 votes. You understand? For Labour Party. But because they did not merge, it is going to appear as 1-1. One, one. Maybe the only one that appeared for Labour, I mean, the only one that will appear for Labour Party is the person that came out and vote for Labour Party. That is how it feels like. And that is what the Jandia just be saying. 
And why he, he, he did not allow his support for P2B to be cloud his sense of seeing what is on ground. There's the people who support a particular candidate, even if the, what the candidate is doing is wrong. It is not so. I am your friend, yes. You're going to support me, yes. But that does not mean you are not going to be in touch with reality. You know, it is very good to be optimistic. Oh. It is very, very good to be optimistic. But it will not do your optimism. It won't make, it won't be, how am I going to put it? Your optimism is not going to help you if you do not work with reality. Your optimism is going to be shattered. You know, you are going to, that is why they say prepare for the best and hope for the worst. You are prepared, okay, you want the good news, but the thing is, what's going to make that good news happen is if you make sure you are in touch with reality and you work with the reality on ground. All right. You can agree with that. You can agree with me that ethnicity and tribalistic politics have destroyed Nigeria. Absolutely correct. Our country is not moving forward, only backward in everything because of ethnicity and religion politics. But let me ask you, how would I vote for A and my vote will turn out to be a B? It does not make sense. Let us move Nigeria forward by electing someone who can fix the country by looking beyond ethnicity and religion. What we need to do is to make sure. Now, my own thing is, my own, the solution to this problem is to make sure that, you know, this party, we don't look at party when voting for people. We look at personality. This means I am a supporter of PDP. I listen to this, uh, what their debates and their campaign, you know, manifesto. And I see that Atiku, you know, I'm not convinced about him. I'm a member of PDP, but the election they vote for P2B. Are you now seeing what I'm doing? I'm a Northerner, I'm a member of PDP. But because I don't look and say, I don't they do this kind of my policies where they play, they never do anything for me before. And I say, no, I want to vote for someone who is competent. And because I listened to this campaign, as in these candidates during this their campaign period, I was able to see that, okay, it is one person that stood out. It is one person that knows what he's doing. It's one person that have the interest of Nigerians at heart. And that is the person I will vote for. The only way to do that is to make sure if you are somebody who supports the Labour Party, you should make sure you evangelize. Use this election period. Practice how to evangelize a Christ, if a Christian. Uh -huh. They don't they call you for evangelizing, but you're always saying that you are shy. It's an opportunity for you to put your evangelism to practice. Talk to people about your candidate. Tell people how what it stands to offer, what it's bringing to the table. Tell people how convinced you are that this your candidate is the right man for the job. So the solution to the problem is to make sure that you reach more people and tell them, see, yes, a political party is, is voting for along the lines of political party is, is, is an old era. They are now voting along the sign of character, of competency and credibility. All right, on this note, we've come to the end of Indians. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.